Hello everyone, welcome to a Magic Lot Hill Beginner's Guide about how to gear up at the start and how to get to level 195. Firstly, this is where you'll start as soon as you leave the tutorial area. Talk to Anon and get the Let's Start a quest. You can skip this if you have money or if you're just gonna ask somewhere else for money because this video doesn't give much. This is just if you really don't want to ask anyone else. And as you can see, there's usually a lot of people and everyone's willing to part with a bit of money to help. Uh, wrong one. You walk over to Esther, complete Let's Have a Quest, that gives you 4,000, that gives you a level. Oh shit, I'm not supposed to... Uh, sorry, this is my storage character. This... Oops. Cut to when I open up some space in his inventory. Okay, now with some space opened, you can go to... Back to Eden, get Returning Stone. Which you complete for saving at the Bellows Warp Stone. Which is this. With this much LI, you should be able to at least get a starter set, which is comprised of Ignate and Champion full set. With Ignate, you should go to... Thomas event area, which is in the leftmost portal in Bellows. Talk to... Invisible name Toma. And get the Spawn Buster title, because it's custom changed to give... 2,000 of every stat. If you don't want to ask anyone for money... You're gonna have to deal with not having a weapon, I think. I think they changed the weapon shop, so... Yeah, stuff's expensive. Oh yeah, you also get these two from... the weapon shop if you want so let's assume you're not you don't have horrible social phobia and you actually ask someone for money and they give you a single million which is basically pocket change here you would go to Rohan press 3 puzzle trades Get a rot, uh, Royal Lattail Strength Gem, Great Gem, and whatever weapon works for your class. I'm going Spear... Spear... Warlord, so... Just the Spear of Darkness. That, those weapons are original level 199, but they've been set to level 1 to help level up. Next is what you can get from the Fashion Shop. Firstly, you can get a Fashion Set. Just gonna get my Selkie Sorta set. Next, you can get a uh... from set under miscellaneous. You can get a melee or magic sharp combo depending on your preference. This is mostly useful for later in the game though, right now you won't really need the buffs. But most importantly, in a, pretty much any of this, you can get Prime XP potions. Which will be important in a moment. Uh, 
Aside from that, you can get, a, like I said, fashion if you want. And a starting pet if you want. Which you can, if you go to Esther and buy a filled spirit bead, you can immediately set to level 100. One, not 20. It, it's 2 a.m. So, with all that done, all that equipped... Just run over to pre-rings, which have... Oh. No, I shouldn't need them. You just... Uh, there are spammable potions in the fashion shop under... Large grape potions. They're really useful for a lot of places, but you probably shouldn't need them this early on. Pre rings have been buffed in speed and s general health, but you only need to kill a couple if you use a prime. I'm gonna speed this up until I hit level 10. Okay, upon hitting level 10, you should return to Bellows. And from the fashion shop under... Utility, Community, in the 4th page you can get server mics. Which are usually the best way to find a party for instance dungeons. Let's see if it works, it usually does. Pretty quickly. Okay, everyone's FK. I'll be back when I get a party. It, it's usually not this bad though. So I got a party hold and while I was waiting I set up my two first skills. With that you should be able to go into beginner coliseum. Which I will also be speeding up for your sake because the later, later half is kinda of pointless after you hit 180. I mean 80. It's too freaking AM. Yeah. I didn't have any Bellows Warps, which I forgot to say, but you should... You can just leave the party to get kicked out of Coliseum, if your party holder is not AFK. Or you can just complete it, I just wanted the quicker way out. Though buying Bellows uh, Warps is useful to just leave. Also at Esther, and also buy at 80 if you are... An engineer, you buy the City of Iron Warp capsule if you're uh, anything else, you buy the Atl Atlantis Warp capsule. I'm gonna speed this up because most people should know where the, how it goes. If not, just ask around, anyone should be able to explain it to you. Basically though, for those that don't know, you warp to Atlantis, run right to Ruins of Abyss, open your map, and basically you gotta get from here to here, and equip your weapon, and go in and just jump down. Now I'm speeding it up. I'll be back once I've got my skills set up. With that done, you can warp back to Bellows and run to the Coliseum again, but this time to Intermediate Coliseum, 
which I will also speed up for your sake. Although it does go a lot faster than beginner because you have more skills. I had the Bellows Warp this time so I could save on time. From here, uh, unequip your weapon again. Go to the town portal next to Fable, next to the weapon shop. Talk to it and go to third job advance. Run up. And run past the tree to get third job. And once again, we're back to Bellows. Additionally, if you're going for a sub job, you can take the third to sub warp now, but I'm sticking with, with Dragoon, and I'll be back once I got my skill set up again. Worth noting, skills get expensive. At this point, having just 1 million LI won't do, but most people you ask is, are probably gonna give you more than one. So I'm just gonna get like another 10 million from my bank, so I can get my skills. Okay, now that that's done, run back to Coliseum again, and those of you who know the game can probably guess where I'm going now. For those of you who do not, and are completely new to the game, not just to the server, it's Expert Coliseum, above Intermediate Coliseum. I'm once again going to speed this up, although this one you do have to go to do a uh, full run to hit 195, which is the goal level for reasons you'll see in a bit. And with that, it should have reached level 195, and here's the reason, this is the big level. It gives you basically unlimited skill points. This is enough to max out the entire tree, including passives. With this, you're ready to start the end game. Well, really the early game, but what would be the end game in the original? Which is actually getting gear, which will be for another video. So, I'll see you next time, and I hope this helped. This is a proof of concept, there's gonna be speed up me getting the rest of the skills. You can just leave if you don't care. I think I went the wrong tree there. I forgot Warlord had exclusive trees. But there you go, everything maxed out. I would still have enough points left for sword, but I'm not going dual builds. Well, see ya.